It is a symbol of freedom. A beast of raw power, waiting to be unleashed to anyone who can tame it. And when you crank that throttle, what a rush! It's a pretty simple machine. All you do is sit on it, give it gas, and go. Motorcycles have become a way of life for millions and a symbol of deeply held value. Owning a Harley has been a great experience for me, and there's no other way to explain it other than to be out, to be free, the smell of the air and the wind all around me. An empire has been created of loyal subjects, from newcomers to old followers, from biker babes to biker babies. It looks like your dad. They all share a common passion, the love of the open road. Hi, I'm Tim Allen. Hi, I'm Mihi Kim and welcome to American Spirit. Hey, is it about time you get out there, let your hair down, get on a Harley Davidson? Man, I'll tell you what, we're going to talk about an icon, the Harley Davidson here today, Stormy Hill. Harley Davidson, Claremont, Florida. I don't know about you, me, but this place rocks. I know, I am so excited. There are a lot of hot bikes to see, and I can't wait. So I'll tell you what, where do you want to start? Anything particular you want to do? Um, I would like to see the trike over there. That's Trike's what kind of, Yeah, it's really cool. Well, I'll tell you what, sit back. Don't go surfing away on that channel. Don't think you're going to be watching any other show than American Spirit. And right now, this show rocks, and we're going to tear into it right about now. me he this is what i'm talking about is this trike totally cool or what it is so awesome man this is like a limo this is like a cadillac this, this thing's unbelievable two wheels are awesome three wheels are out of this world <laughs> could you see yourself sitting there doing like a cross-country ride i could and all this trunk space over here yeah. is enough oh, room man. for all my shoes oh you know all your <laughs> shoes all right hey check out the sound system you notice how i got away from the shoe thing and i went right into the sound okay we're not going to talk about shoes Anyway, look at this cool surround system, speakers, my God, this, you know, this looks so relaxing. Once you get into bikes, you're hooked, and I'll tell you what, talk about hooked, look at that. Is that a style bike that's screaming, Mihi? I love it. Let's check it out. Wow, Mihi, this is what I'm talking about. I know you like this style bike. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't think Harley built this style bike. I thought they were just into the big cruisers and stuff. This bike has got your name all over it. I'm gonna let you be alone with it. You guys get to know each other. You know I'm into cruisers, so I'm gonna get over here and check out the cruisers. All right, go, Tim, go. go. I'll catch up with get you later. Out of here. All right, the reason I like this one is because it looks mean, like me. And it looks really, really fast and black and it just looks so sporty. You know what? Tim was right. I really love this bike. Hey, ladies, you know why I like this? Because it sits low to the ground. And I mean, for a petite girl like me, I can't handle a giant cruiser like Tim can. And um, this looks so fast and mean and just muscly. You know another awesome thing about this bike? There's an extra seat back here. You know why? For my girlfriends, we don't need to waste gas when we're going to the mall. She and I just can hop on this bike and we we'll just whiz on by. Or if I happen to see a cute guy, I might give him a ride. Now another cool thing about bikes, you ladies, is that after a stressful day, you can just hop on your bike and ride. Ride with the wind blowing in your hair, leave the stress behind, boy problems, school problems, coworker problems, work problems, who cares? You're on your bike, it's fun. It's just you and the bike and the road. But you gotta remember, ladies, safety first. Wear long pants, closed-toed shoes, leather jacket, helmet. Safety first, you have, to, you have to protect yourself when you're on this powerful, dangerous machine. Now, uh, let's go check out what Tim's up to. Now, this what I'm talking about. Check this cruiser out. Now, you know you need to get a bike that you like, that's going to fit you. Not the one that your girlfriend or your wife likes, and they're your friends, they're all your buddies telling you what bike to get. You need to get a bike you want to get. 
Now, me personally, I love cruisers. I love to have a windshield in front of me blocking bugs and rain and stuff that'll fall off of people's cars or God, if you're behind a semi, man, a little nut and a bolt flying off a flatbed trailer is gonna beat you up, man. And I'd rather have it hit the windshield than me. I'll tell you another thing, these cruisers are just that, cruising. You're not out to race. You're not out to spin donuts, stand on one wheel and do all kinds of weird goofy stuff where you can get hurt. You're out there to cruise, let your hair down, enjoy the American spirit, freedom. Get out there, let the wind blow through your hair. Here's some other things I wanna to talk to you about. Closed-toed shoes, don't be flip-flopping it out there. You need to put your foot down real quick. You're, you got a situation, somebody pulled out in front of you. You're not gonna get anywhere with a pair of flip-flops, man. You're gonna be in a world of hurt, and you're gonna wish to God you had a closed-toed, heavy shoe on when you've got a handle three, four, five, six hundred pound bike, depending on the size bike and all the gear and the accessories you have, flip-flops ain't gonna get it, man. And don't be riding barefooted either, man. You wanna, you wanna get in a world of hurt, ride barefoot. I know it gets hot in the summer, short pants are cool. If you're gonna be for a long to a medium ride, long pants are real important. If you don't like wearing a helmet, I recommend a half shell. Really, it's like you don't have a helmet on at all. Full helmets in the, in the summer is gonna be really hot. Riding gloves. I'm a glove guy, man. I love riding, but I like to have a glove too. Again, there's stuff gonna hit your hands from bugs and rocks and pebbles. Unless you've got something there to protect your hands, this stuff's gonna be hitting your knuckles. I love to have gloves on. What I want to do is fit the bike like a glove. That's another reason why I like a cruiser. It gives me a low center of gravity. It makes me feel like I have control over the bike, like the bike isn't like whipping me all over the place. Now, another thing I like about cruisers, check out this back seat, man. This is like riding in the car. You got a nice back rest. You got a real nice cushy seat. I love cruisers, man. It's not like a little bench seat. This is like sitting in the back of the car, man. You want to sit in the back seat of a Cadillac? Here she is right here, man. You're going to be comfortable for a long cruising ride. Get a bike that is going to fit you and you're going to enjoy it for many years. Me personally, cruisers are the way to go. You may want to have a trike, a three-wheeler. You may want to have a muscle bike. There's all kinds of different cruisers too, so be sure to check them all out. And by the way, where the heck did Nihi get off to? Probably overlooking its shoes. <laughs>